Hi guys, welcome to day 9, Discover 365 with Fifi and today I'm going to speak about something that the whole world is talking about and I just feel like sometimes as Christian we don't know what to do, what to say when certain things are taking place and we all are watching, you know, what's going on in America, the whole world knows but there is so much more going on around the world. Like, you know, in Mozambique and Zimbabwe, they had a cyclone last week and many people, thousands of people lost their homes. And we have persecutions going on in Africa as well as in Asia itself. And um, in down South Africa, uh, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Namibia, Zambia, all of these countries, they've got new variant of COVID as well as UK. We have a new variant in UK as well. And as we all know, we thought we've already had a breakthrough, the vaccines here, everything is all going to be well and right. And when the new variant came out, they started deciding that they probably need to create a new whatever and what's not, what's going on. I don't know. I know scientists. But I know one scientist I can rely on. <laughs> that is the one up there. He is the only scientist I know can save us. And at the moment, the only thing we need and the only thing we have is trust. We need to trust in the Lord because as we, as the world, it is actually, actually not just as Christians, as the whole world watches all of this, every man has tried. Woman, men, Young, old, everybody has tried something, has tried to do something. Rich or poor, everybody is suffering the same way. And the only thing that can save all of us is having trust in the Lord. We need to have trust in God, knowing that all of our problems, all of our struggles as nations, we need to trust in the Lord, that you will make it all right in the, at the end of the day. Because the scripture says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Because we've tried, we've tried to make sense of what's going on. We tried to do something about it, which didn't work. So what is the solution then? God is the only solution we have to all this. So we need to trust in his divine providence. You know, recently, the main reason why I felt like spoken about trust today is just too much has happened. Like personally, my family, I've watched so many people I've known just dying from COVID in, within my family, within my close friends and those that I know around me. And as many of you all also know that we had an outbreak of COVID as well here at Divine. It's just so much has been happening right in front of my eyes. And I remember I can go as far as back as the last two months. I think end of November, the Lord has just been putting on my heart to wake up and pray at 3 a.m. Because I started late at night as well, 3 a.m. So it wasn't too bad. Sometimes it's a lot of work, but it's something, it's a promise that I, I've made. And it's a commitment that I'm going to stick to for the next few months at least. So, yeah, in the beginning of December, from the 1st of December, you know, I made this commitment with the Lord to start praying at 3 in the morning. And the intention of praying at 3 a.m. is specifically not for me, but for all the things that is going on around the world. Just to seek for that mercy for the Lord, for the whole world to know that there is only one Savior. There is only one person who, we can, who can help us and we need to trust in him. And this is not something that individuals has to carry. It's something that the whole world has to follow. We all have to submit ourselves into this, knowing that nothing else can do us any. No one, I mean, I mean, there is no one who can save us right now. And we need to trust as nations, as one. And that's how, well, that's how the enemy works, because the enemy has been dividing. And as we can see, especially America is a perfect example in what's going on in Africa of how the enemy is trying to divide. Because he knows as long as he divides the hearts of the people, he can, he can conquer our hearts, he can conquer our soul. But we need to trust in the Lord. Let's not lean in our own understanding. We need to trust in God that he will see us through this.